uh, make a drawing uh, of the concept. And that's very important to me because it's the first physical indication of what my emotion is about. Sometimes, when you're building a photograph, you're very much like the feeling, sometimes it's totally different. Visually, I would never photograph a very beautiful person like a high fashion model. That was no interest in it. Because, uh, like actors, they have a particular kind of presence. And um, fashion models, beautiful people, have they knowingly a particular a visual system that I'm in. My grandmother had one leg, and uh, in the morning uh, I would smell her gangrenous leg. So most kids would uh, wake up in the morning and smell coffee. I would smell my grandmother's dry leg. So uh, eventually, too, um, the experience of having a personal family who was physically challenged uh, made the connection between the world outside and this world with the picture of inside more direct and more uh, sublime to me. And so, uh, consequently, I had my first sexual encounter in a vision with a uh, pre sexual. And that was very, very important to me. And uh, again, a very, very thrilling experience. To me, making photographs was a direct engagement with the world. And I can change it. There is nothing as powerful, I feel, as a photograph. But I'm most interested in photographing conditions of being to 
basically show changes in attitudes that affect me and my needs and how those needs have to be expressed in my photography. My art is not about darkness, my art is about love. I photograph animate, real people, and inanimate people. I photograph people who are outside the mainstream of society, like homosexual people, people who change their sexual identity. If I photograph people who are, say, uh, uh, deformed, I don't like the word deformed because that means that they're not normal. They are normal to themselves. I don't make photographs to show uh, prettiness. I don't make photographs that go on the walls to decorate a home. There's so much uh, disinformation about my work that it's dark. It's not dark. Basically, I'm a dramatist and a romantic and my work is about showing that we live in a diverse world. People are different, but they all need to be loved. I make tableaus. I, I make uh, photographs in studios. The world I engage is not the world that's going on outside. It's the world I create. And so I can create time that goes backwards or forwards or of the present. And what my job there is, is to present through photography similar concepts of what's been done in the past. I'm totally traditional. I hate that word Photoshop. I work sometimes, a few photographs I've made, that need to be composited. And for instance, I made this photograph called Night in a Small Town. It was a woman in a horse. So I bought the horse shape, which is made for taxidermy. Now it's not possible for that model to get into the horse shape. Sometimes I do collage, but in this case, I didn't want to collage, photograph her, and cut her and put her in the horse shape, you know? It would look too phony, but compositing, before I made the photograph, we actually cut the horse, and then I photographed the set without the model, just the horse and the other model and, and the, the background. Then I photographed her in, in this kind of arc. The negatives get scanned, and then we put the woman and the horse I take a person from, from their own world and I, I make a world for them. So in a way it's real and in a way it's fictional, but in, in the end what I do is create something that is, is factual because it's photographed, because there's a dialogue with people. It's a, an event that's an aesthetic event in the form of a photograph which has aesthetic significance. Making art through photographs is my world. I've been making photographs continually for over 40 years. I hope to be uh, die in the dark room when I'm making a print.